when the final whistle blows, whether it's after a game or training's over, um, you have to be able to relate to your players on a level just besides soccer. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's really helped me establish myself throughout the past 14 years here is that I integrate myself within my individual players and teams into their life, not only on the soccer side of things, but also off the field. If, if you want to label myself and my philosophy and my style is I'm very passionate, very intense, very competitive, um, and you see that within the individual players that I coach and teams. But, but at the end of the day, there's also a very family um, type of atmosphere out here in that we're each going to make mistakes and it's about what we do after those mistakes um, that make us a, a player and an and overall better person. It'll be now my 14th year coaching in the Tampa Bay area, whether it's been in the high school ranks and the youth ranks, and, and also I've had the opportunity to be a part of a, a, collegiate, a couple collegiate programs as well on the men's and the women's side. Um, I want them to know that we're here to nurture them, um, not only technically, tactically, physically, and mentally on the field, but that we're there for them as individual coaches and as a staff to help guide them um, and to make good choices on and off the field and to teach them accountability, um, to teach them discipline, um, and also teach them that at the end of the day we all have dreams and goals, and those dreams and goals are attainable if you continue to follow you know, certain steps which we call the process. Um, that experience at Palm Harbor University High School for those six years, especially being such a, such a young coach at 21 with seniors that were practically three years you know, um, you know, younger than I was, was, was actually a tremendous experience because I was able to relate to the players um, very well. Um, and, and I think that's what's built me to become a, a player's coach. Um, I have a pretty good understanding of what young you know, athletes are going through on a daily basis, whether it's socially, um, whether it's through their athletics, okay, whether it's through stuff that's happening with their friendships and their family. And I was able to relate um, you know, very well with them and, and, and I think I gained their trust um, you know, from the beginning of I've gone through this, I've been here as a player, this was a program that I've played soccer at as well. Um, I knew the tradition, the culture growing up in that area. And, and what it meant to me is, is, was the most important thing of my lifetime during that time period. And, and I just try to rub that off on that next generation of players there at the high school. Uh, just always felt one, one big thing within this club um, over the past 14 years that I've been here is just my belief in the club as a whole and the potential of what it you know, could become. But most importantly, the players and the families um, that have been a part of my tenure here for the past 14 years. That's been my biggest commitment, is seeing the commitment that these families give to their, to their young you know, son, their young daughters. And what's led me to stay here is just the belief that we can continue to build every year to make this program and this club one of the best programs, not only um, within our region, but, but honestly, my ultimate goal is to make uh, and, and hopefully achieve national prominence.